Hi, it's me, and it's March 1st, and my no-buy is over. I am so excited. Um, so to celebrate, I went to the store and bought some stuff. <laughs> I really did. And I'm going to just jump right into it. I went to Walmart and Rite Aid, and the first thing I picked up at Walmart were these cotton squares, 100% pure cotton squares. I was out of cotton rounds because I used up a bunch of necessities during my no-buy, and I refused to buy anything, so... Hopefully these are nice. I never tried them before. Um, they have a little bit of a texture on them. So we'll see how those go. Then the other thing I bought was the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Towelettes. My favorite makeup removing wipes and I used these up as well. And the last week and a half was extremely hard getting my makeup off at night because I had nothing to wipe them off with. And excuse my flat iron there. Whoops. And I also got another necessity. I got the Equate Non-Acetone Nail Polish Remover. This is the one I always use just because it's non-acetone and cheap. So there's that. And then at Walmart, I also picked up, um, not that, the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara in Black is Black by L'Oreal. And I'm excited to try this. I've seen a couple people on YouTube rave about it. So can't wait to try this out and it's a rubber bristle wand so got that and then the other mascara that everybody's been raving about is the clump crusher by covergirl and this is in very black and i'm super excited to try this out as well i used up three mascaras during my no buy so i figured i could buy two and then the last thing i got at walmart was this covergirl outlast Stay Fabulous foundation and the color I got was 810 and I did swatch this on my hand already that's why it's messy so I'm excited to try this I'm gonna use this tomorrow morning and this is classic ivory by the way then I went to Rite Aid and at Rite Aid I picked up three Wet n Wild products I got the Wet n Wild cover all foundation and powder I'm not too sure I'm gonna like these the powder is probably doable I didn't open the powder it's probably going to be hard to open, so I might not even... Let's see if I can open it real quick. Some of these wet and wild things are awfully tricky to open. They put all these labels and stuff on them. We just want to get into the product, people. Um, heck with it. I'm not even going to go there. So I, tr I got these to try. They're real cheap. And sorry I couldn't open that. And then the rest, oh, one more Wet n Wild thing. I got this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color. And the name is Raising the Something. But there was a dollar off coupon on here, and the guy at the register was, like, ripping it all to shreds, trying to get it apart. So he ripped off the name. But it's a Mega Last, and it's 930A. And I have it on my lips right now. And it is the strangest... Pretty color, but the strangest filling stuff. It has a doe foot applicator, and it goes on real smooth and glossy. And now that it's dry, it's hard. Like, my lips feel hard, like they need some moisture. And I think this might be a lip stain. It doesn't say that, but how it feels on my lips, it feels like it's a stain. It has that dry tight feeling like most stains that you tend to use do have. And then the last couple of things are all polishes. And we'll start with the Essie one. This is only my third Essie polish. Um, I just don't buy them that often because they're kind of pricey. And if I'm going to buy an $8 polish, it's going to be Zoya. So I don't buy the Essie very often, but I've been eyeing up the Bikini Sotini for so long and it was the last one at Rite Aid. So I picked it up. And it is a really pretty blue, but it kind of has like a purple hue to it. And it has very tiny shimmers. You can hardly see them when they're swatched. But here is the swatch of Bikini Sotini. It's a beautiful color. So I'm excited to wear that one on my nails. Then I got three Jolie G polishes. I have one polish of hers, which I have on my fingernails today, and this is uh, Mermaid's Tail, and it's gorgeous. So I thought I'd pick up a couple more, because she has a new line out for spring. This, was, this one's called Light It Up. 
I'm not sure if this one's new or not, but I had to have it. It's a multi um, glitter polish and it's gorgeous. And here it is swatched. So pretty. Then the other two are from her new line for sure. This is the one called Umbrella Drink and it's a peach color and it has shimmer in it. It is so pretty. I can't wait to wear it. It's just gorgeous. There it is swatched. And then the last one I got is Sound the Alarm. And it's like a bright red coral color. It is so nice. I was going to say pretty again, but how many times can you say pretty? Apparently a lot. But there's that one swatched. I love it. And then I forgot I got a polish at Walmart. And I got this new one by Pure Ice. And it's like bright orange, like a burnt orange, with silver glitter. And it's called Tame Me Now. And swatched, it looks like this. So that's everything I got in my haul. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.